Hello grade 11s, let's finish our page 70 from yesterday. So, we finished the given views, we have numbered it, and now they want us to do the following. Draw a sectional top view, a sectional right view, and then later the true cutting plane. So here's a suggestion how you can save a bit of time. Okay, Instead of doing the views separately, let's do them together because then you will save time in the following way. And you'll see it. Okay, so I'm going to do all three questions, top, right, and true shape, in the same at the same time. Okay, so first I'm just going to project my lines. So yeah, for and remember this is my auxiliary view. I'm focusing on the front view. So take every point. So four and five across, three and six across, one and two across, and then T. Okay, take it across. Do the same for your top view. So bring it down. And before I start, I'm going to do the same thing for my um, true cutting plane. The easiest way to get the cutting plane is to make is to draw lines that's perpendicular to the cutting plane itself. So in other words, you see the true shape of it. So what I'm going to do is, you take your compass, oh, your, um, one of your set squares, put it parallel to your cutting plane AA, then with a secondary ruler, just move, oops, wait, make sure it doesn't move. Secondary ruler, put it against it, then move this slightly downwards. And now you just draw lines upwards. At a perpendicular line just a cutting plane so just there yeah where it crosses the next line and over here remember we're just focusing this is just the true shape of the cutting plane not the solid now before I move my ruler again put your secondary set square back okay make sure it's parallel again then move it up and here, I'm going to draw another XY line. This is the easiest way to do it. And I'm going to call this X3, Y3. Okay, so I'm ready to do this, um, the, the right view, the, cut, the true cuts plane, and the top view at the same time. That's it. And uh, yeah, you'll see now why this is a quicker way to do it. Now that you have everything ready, get your compass. This is, again, the quickest way. And I'm going to start by with 1, go to 6, and then T. Now look what happens. This is why the XY lines are so essential. Take your compass, put it down on the XY line, and extend it towards 1. Why am I doing this? I want that distance. And I pick up your compass. Now keep it there. Now I'm going to go to the right view. Where's my one? There's one. And immediately go and number it. That's one. Do this. But why you've got this measurement already? Go down. Get the top, the one for the top view. Okay. Now don't stop yet. We can take one up to the true cutting plane as well. Right, so I'm doing all three views at the same time. And have you noticed that one and five is exactly the same distance away? So before I move my compass again, do it the same for five. There's five from the XY line. So it's always from XY line to XY line. There's five here. And oh, you know what? I was lying about the um, this part. Just hold on, hold on with the true cutting plan. I'll do it separately. Sorry, you can't do it together. Sorry, sorry. But just this two. Okay, now six because it's the smallest part. Now look for six. There's six. 
and year is six. And number them. Six and six. Now two. And two and four share the same distance. So I'll do them both. Two and two. So there's two and there's two. Same thing for four. Four and four. And the same thing for what's the one we I haven't done? Three. So always from x, y you measure it, then on three x, y as well, and x, y as well. Your mind barely fits in. If yours overlaps a bit, it's fine. Mine barely fits in. And before I forget about t, let's just do t as well. In the middle, there's t. And there's T. Now we just connect everything together. So T to 1, 1 to 6, 6 to 5, 5 to 4, 4 to 3, 3 to 2, 2 back to T, T to 1. T has to go to six as well. T has to, because it's a pyramid. T has to go to five, to four, three. Okay, so there's the solid. With uh, It's very light. I haven't drawn dark yet. We're first going to add the cutting plane. Now do the same thing for the top view. T goes to four, and three, and two, one. Six, five. Then connect the numbers together as well. One to two, two to three, three to four, and then five back to six. Okay, so there's my solid. So I always draw the solid as if it's not cut. And then I go and add the cutting plane. That's the easiest way to do it. Now that you have this in place, now we can add the cutting plane. Now, how you add the cutting plane, I'm going to first focus here. I'm going to start from the left side of A and move this way. And every time line AA crosses a point or a line, we project it across. So first line AA touches on 1 and 2. So it's on those two points there. Then it crosses a line. What's actually two lines? Let's see, it's T3 and T6. So T6 and T3. And then here at the end, it touches T4 and T5. That's why the numbering is so important. So let's connect them together. This, uh, they asked for a right view, so if you look from the right side, so look where my pen is coming in, the T part falls away, so this bottom part is left behind. So in other words, you can see 5 and 4, so I'm going to darken 5 and 4. We can see uh, we can see this, wait to reject, 3 and 6. Yes, we can. There and there. And we can also see the line from one, 6 to 1 and 3 to 2. So this also stays behind. So it's only the top point that stays construction lines. Okay, let's hatch it. So I usually do the two views if there's two views together because then 
you don't have to go and transfer the same measurement two times you only do it once so it, it saves a bit of time in an exam so i would recommend you do this okay so there's the right view now the top view same <laughs> principle i'm going to start again from the left side so a starts at one and two so i make a dot, dot on one and two then a a crosses a three and a six now go and look for a oh, t sorry t3 and t6 t3 and t6 and then it also ends here at t4 and 5 make them together i'm just using a pen so that you can see it a bit better on the video Top view, the T side falls away again. So we're not going to see this. We're only going to see the other side. So we're going to see this and this and on the other side as well. Did they ask for hidden detail? No hidden detail. Okay. Just want to add the hatching as well. There we go. Now to add the true cutting plane. You can use either this view or the top view. They both will give you the same answer. We just want to see how the cutting plane looks like for real. So now what you do is it's now in reverse. Don't worry about the numbers now. I'm going to start at that, that point there. But now, so I've got the measurement. Now follow the line. And then it goes up. So the point should be there. On the same line, there's a point on the other side. So always from XY to XY. Follow the point, take it up. Okay, now there. So I'm just focusing on the cutting plane, not the solid. So follow the line again. And it goes up. Now on the other side. Mm -hmm. And now the last one. Just follow again. Follow that line, follow that line. Dead gets to the cutting plane, then you take it up and then you measure from the XY line. And when you connect all the points together, you get how the cutting plane really looks like, like the correct shape. Because on the one view, it's a, it's, it's a lot smaller. On the other view, it's almost there, but this is how it really looks like. And we'll just hatch it. And there's your answer. So front view, sectional right view, sectional top view, and the true sh um, the view of the true shape of the cut surface in the direction of the arrow Z. In other words, perpendicular. There you go.